guys, welcome back to the Magnificent Books Read Aloud. Today I'm going to be reading The Library by Sarah Student, illustrated by David Small. The Library. Elizabeth Brown entered the world dropping straight down from the sky. Elizabeth Brown entered the world skinny, nearsighted, and shy. She didn't like to play with dolls. She didn't like to skate. She learned to read quite early and at an incredible weight. She always took a book to bed with a flashlight under the sheet. She'd make a tent of covers and read herself to sleep. Elizabeth Brown went off to school dragging a steamer shrunk. Elizabeth Brown unpacked her books, breaking the upper bunk. She sat in all her classes and doodled on a pad, a rift in dreams of entering a reader's Olympi pad. She manufactured library cards and checked out books to friends, then shocked them with her midnight waves to collect the books again. Elizabeth Brown preferred a book to going on a date. While friends were out and danced till dawn, she stayed up reading late. She took the train one afternoon and promptly lost her way, so bought a house and settled down to tutoring for pay. Elizabeth Brown walked into town summer, fall, winter, and spring. Elizabeth Brown walked into town looking for only one thing. She didn't want potato chips. She didn't want new clothes. She went straight to the bookstore. May I have one of those? Elizabeth Brown walked right back home and read and read and read. She even read while exercising and standing on her head. She made a list of groceries and tucked it in her book, then lost a list among the fruits and left with nothing to cook. She read about Greek goddesses while vacuuming the floor, attending only to her book. She'd walk into a door. Books were piled on top of shares and spread across the floor. Her shelves began to fall apart as she read more and more. Big books made very solid stacks on which teacups could rest. Small books became the building blocks for busy little guests. <clears throat> When volumes climbed the parlor walls and blocked the big front door, she had to face the awful fact she could not have one more. Elizabeth Brown walked into town that very afternoon. Elizabeth Brown walked into town whistling a happy tune. She didn't want a bicycle. She didn't want sick bows. She went straight to the coat house. May I have one of those? The form was for donations. She quickly wrote this line. I, E. Brown, give to the town all that was ever mine. Elizabeth Brown, Free Library Elizabeth Brown moved in with a friend and lived to a ripe old age. They walked to the library day after day and turned page after page after page. And that was the library.